Jeremy Vololo, Ginger Duggar Vololo's husband, preaches a sermon, and he's not as liberal as many think. Jeremy and Ginger have been known as the Rebel Duggars, but in reality, they aren't very rebellious at all. Ginger Duggar Vololo and Jeremy Vololo have been known to counting on and 19 kids and counting fans as the Rebel Duggars. This is due to the fact that Ginger was the first daughter to break with long-standing Duggar tradition and wear pants, and she and Jeremy waited over 14 months after their wedding to announce they were expecting a baby, which means that they could have been using birth control. While Ginger and Jeremy have become fan favorites for their seemingly liberal viewpoints, a sermon of Jeremy's has recently surfaced that shows the pair haven't as strayed as far from Ginger's family as people may believe. Jeremy Vololo though once a professional soccer player, is now a pastor at a church in Laredo, Texas, where he and Ginger live. The now reality star preaches from the pulpit each Sunday, and some of them are captured by the camera. Recently, he preached a sermon entitled The Profile of Christ's Enemies, that can be seen here. In the sermon, Jeremy doesn't necessarily go down a list to say who Christ's enemies are, but he does say that anyone who doesn't believe in Jesus is an enemy of his. The blog Keeping Up With Fundies found his preaching to be a tad outrageous and even stated so on one of their blog posts. Although the Vololos get the reputation of the liberal Duggars, it may be one that hasn't necessarily been earned. In addition to his February 25th sermon, Jeremy has also gone on to say that he believes that the LGBTQ community and Catholics are also those who will not belong to the Kingdom of God. While Jeremy's brother-in-law, Derek Dillard, has espoused similar views and gotten in more trouble for it, it seems that this is because Jeremy keeps it rather low-key on social media. Instead of going after individual people on his Twitter or other posts, he speaks at from behind the pulpit at Grace Community Church. Although the sermons can later be accessed online, he has not, as of yet, targeted an individual the way Derek has. I was on the